Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Haley Clawson. If you had the opportunity to step outside earlier this evening, right around sunset, you would have been seeing views just like this. From locations across the Coachella Valley, you have received emails to our inbox at share at KESQ.com, and these rays that you see, commonly called sunbeams, are also known as crepuscular rays. Happens when the sun is just below the horizon, just like this, and it finds breaks in the clouds to shine on through. Always a sight to see and always love to see your photos. Really, yes, we did have some of those cumulus clouds hanging over the mountains today, but the bulk of the moisture has made its way off towards the east and drier air is trying to make its way into Southern California. So today a little bit drier than what we felt yesterday and we'll continue this gradual drying trend as we head into our Wednesday as well. We're certainly staying warm. Our highs were in the triple digits once again. Right now 89 degrees in Palm Springs, 83 in Palm Desert, matching 83 degrees at this time in Mecca. It's comfortable. There's no doubt about it. It's just warmer than normal for this time of year. But it's a trend that we're going to be sticking with. Now, when we're looking at our temperature change compared to this time yesterday, we're about the same of right now one degree warmer than we were this time yesterday. But overall, we have a bit of consistency from yesterday to today, and we can go ahead and duplicate this once again for tomorrow. So a bit of consistency minus uh, the humidity. So again, today was a little bit drier, and then as we head into tomorrow, we'll continue to dry out just a little bit more. That moisture making its way towards the east and this ridge of high pressure over California, keeping us warm and helping us dry out just a little bit. It's not going to be a true dry heat, but it won't be quite as muggy as what we experienced to kickstart this work week. Now, as we head through Thursday, more so into Friday, that's when we'll begin this cooling trend. It's going to be very gradual on a day-by-day -day basis, but it will continue as we head through the weekend. But we're not there yet, so through tomorrow, high temperature is still going to be climbing above 100 degrees for many of our valley communities. Just like today, get ready for a warm setup. Plenty of sunshine. And of course, plenty of opportunities to take some photos and send them my way. Our first alert Comfort Air 70 forecast does keep the sunshine with us through Friday. Then as we head through the weekend into early next week, notice how those temperatures trend down. Fantastic, a bit more typical for this time of year. However, more moisture is also going to be rejoining us yet again, and we'll be seeing those clouds increase. John Karen even going to be watching for the opportunity of any storms developing over the higher elevations. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Haley. Well, health experts.